What's going on YouTube? Welcome back. Our first College 25 uh, gameplay video. We're going to be playing Clef the God in this matchup. And if you know anything about these matchups, they are some of the best high-level matchups you can see and watch. Anytime I play Clef, it's a high-level chess match. Um, you know, you, you flip a coin to decide the winner. I go, I'm going to be using Alabama. He's going to be using Georgia. Nice SEC rivalry right here. Let's see who gets the dub in this matchup. See right here the intro of the game. Um, this was a Friday night football tournament, uh, round one. It was actually a group stage, so this is my first game. And it, it was just a banger video. We're gonna get into it right now. Let's go. So guys, we're gonna be kicking off the ball. And one thing to know about Clef is he always gets kick returns when I play him. And versus anyone in the community, I swear he's always getting a kick return. That's, uh, I don't know his name, but Smith, number 11 on the, the Bulldogs. He is a speed demon with that 98 speed. And that's just not the way you want to start a game, honestly. You see right here, I'm kind of going to start setting my audibles and my depth chart for when I do get back on defense. But yeah, man, what's good, guys? Um, I'm finally back posting some college football 25. I've been enjoying the game, honestly, quite a bit. There are a few broken things in the game that I might address in some videos coming up soon. But uh, I really just want to get some of these elite gameplays that I have. I've been playing. I just haven't really been streaming or recording. Uh, I've played a few elite players, and it's always good to get that chess match. Now with that switch stick, uh, you know, new blitzes, new coverages, disguising everything, new playbooks. Uh, it's fresh to get this gameplay out for you guys, and I'm honestly super excited to break this game down. All right, guys, we are going to be running the uh, Georgia Bulldogs offense. It has classic bunch and cluster. Is right here. Nice little dot flood. How could we not? How could we not love flood? It's one of the OG plays in Bunch. And like I said, I'm using Bam. I got Jalen Moreau. Unfortunately, I, at this time in the video, I didn't really know how to use him with that extender ability with his 96 speed or 91 speed. With his 360 platinum spin, is right here. Clef is screaming out of the nickel penny. I got some gameplays with Texas coming up. I know you guys, uh, that Texas defense is insane. Um, but this is going to be a shootout right here. Uh, Bama, Georgia, they know each other very well. Just like me and Clef. We played so many times over the years. And the game goes either way, honestly. It's right here. We're going to throw a questionable read. We drop it. I thought we caught it. Uh, his hard flat went crazy right there. Unless he manned him up, I believe that was a hard flat. I had the speed out wide open, but just a misread, you know. Still getting the timings down. Jalen Milrow, he's a beast, but I don't really like his release too much. It's right here. Nice little dot up the seams. It was a post, and we threw it right before he cut. Clef's user, one of the best in the game. Got to make sure, you know, we don't throw any books in this gameplay. Right here, guys, we're calling this deep attack play out of the Georgia Bulldogs offense. This play has been a staple of the, you know, bunch for many years. We're doing a little quick five-out setup, and we throw that nice little post route stem to, like, five yards. Just so, you know, we were able to throw it before it gets to the safety or even gets to the user. Right here, we audible the gun cluster. This gun cluster is honestly pretty fire. The only downside to it is sometimes you're not able to pick up the blitz, but we're gonna freestyle right here. We're gonna motion out Jam Miller. This dude is a beast. He has pl uh, not platinum 360, but I think silver. He's just making spin moves happen. And peep this corner route on the left. We route stem both corner routes. Left one's gonna be wide open. That's just a dot in my opinion. Um, I think he played cover two hard fly on the left. We we're able to hit that corner route over the top. Right here, guys, we're going to run Flood, and we have R1. He just stops running for whatever reason. I should have route stemmed that a little bit, you know, like a yard or a, a, a couple uh, stems down. That would have been a dot. And honestly, guys, you got to always remember, these guys, these elite players know how to switch tickets. Right here, we 100% caught him off guard with this. We threw a, throw a slip screen, and, you know, when you get hit by a slip screen and mutt head to head, it's the worst feeling ever. I already know Clef is sick when he gave that up. All right, guys, here we go. We're finally on defense with this Bama defense. You know, they don't got the insane pass rush that Texas has, but they're able to, you know, they, you can do a lot of things with this Texas, or excuse me, this Bama defense. It's right here. Nice little dot to uh, Lovett. I'm not sure who that is. I mean, he's a beast. These these Georgia receivers are not to be played with. I really do not want to run man. They, I think, all have like 96 plus speed. So you're going to see a lot of zone in this gameplay. A few mix ups of man, and really just going to work that right stick, try to get a little bit of pressure out this penny. This is honestly what everyone's running right here. He runs the ball and that's what you get when you play with Bama defense. You get great tackles, hit sticks, block sheds off the run. I know he got four yards right there, but you know, if I was using Texas, that might have been like 10 plus right there. See right here, we're just moving around, switch sticking. We got onto the Malachi Moore. We honestly get some nice pressure right there. I think he ran like drive 
or some type of you know crosser drag in route play that's been kind of the meta the past couple months of you know madden is like dagger type of plays and it is a meta in this this year's uh college football game too when if people run bunch they're gonna run that crosser with that drag coming across the middle and that in route from that tight end it's right here he no huddles third and 13 we're just trying to get a little bit of pressure um i'm blitzing my user so that must that must mean i'm gonna send six right here what i'm gonna do when i blitz my users i'm gonna click off i'm gonna try to click onto the safety and just get this pressure it's right here that's what we're able to do do we get any pressure no but we play amazing defense he throws a book um unfortunately we don't catch it but thankfully he doesn't catch it either fourth and 13 the biggest play of the game so far let's see if we could get a stop he runs verts great defense uh he had the cross rope and my user was a little sleepy it still is sleepy i'll be honest but bama bama comes in free gets that nice little shed with 31 right there carson beck has no time to throw it after running on first down not getting any yards we decide to run buck sale and bro on that left side he got a little bit of pressure excuse me when i say buck sale but that's what it used to be called it's called bunch sale now that play used to be insane back in the day it's still really good but that solo side post is just not what it used to be right here audibly in the gun cluster once more we're gonna run this mesh the only thing guys i don't like is when you audible it takes forever you really have to have good time on the clock and know what play you're running you can't really be you can't really think in the moment or you're gonna give something up is right here what a beam but peep this switch stick clef had i want you guys to check it out he's gonna switch stick to malachi starks or whatever his name is on the left and he almost goes crazy and picks that off that would have been one of the best switch sticks of the year and it would have only been like week one or week two of the game if he would have got me right there i held my breath when i threw it but it ends up being a dot nice little cover two seam beater right there all right guys once more he's back in this gun bunch strong we're just trying to get a little pressure with the send five we actually end up playing all out coverage right here great defense and he ends up throwing a book again somehow catches it with a short receiver uh yeah you just saw that replay right there that was not open we should have had a pick right there uh, get another stop you know the deal it's right here he goes up tempo really fast and we play all out great defense that's the one thing about georgia they don't have they, the carson beck is a dog he i love his hot routes i love the way he throws the ball he just he's not fast and compared to like quinn ewers who has a little speed Jalen monroe who has a lot of speed it's just hard to maneuver the pockets right here he's running verticals nice catch I, I wanted a ko right there he he's going up tempo man you're gonna you're gonna get the gist of this gameplay he's gonna be calling a lot of verts a lot of up tempo and i'm getting cl clicked off my guys see right here nice little switch stick but we don't get any pressure we send six he throws a book and we go crazy with more that star db for alabama he's insane he's everywhere malachi moore team player ball hawk fan favorite he's a beast in the secondary he's not the fastest he has 91 speed i believe he is 6-1 um, he's just a beast whether you use him you put put him in coverage He's gonna be making plays all day long versus the pass We're just really just trying to get seven right here make this last drive or you know, just have a good drive, right? We're not even thinking about true two and clock. We just want to throw some dots as that's what we're doing right there Right over his user. We might have had to fade down the right sideline, but you know my reads weren't the best It's right here guys. We're gonna be running the little short time looking for the speed out and he has amazing switch stick um and no pressure for him i kind of froze up right there i know you guys saw me i kind of froze up i had a couple things open but that switch it caught me off guard right i was gonna throw that speed out and he switched it to it that's the first time someone has done that versus that route this year versus me we end up actually making a good read but you know it's due to the fact that he got zero pressure right there so very very thankful that you know he didn't scream and of course we say that and the next play he screams right we had the post open we had the in that little zig route inverted zig coming across the middle but here we go third and two we're just we're probably gonna we're gonna run the ball right here we're gonna run base try to just get this first down we got insane blocking from bama but what a user play by clef right we had we had a couple holes we just i don't know we just met his user at the wrong spot at the wrong time um we still got one down to convert one yard i mean this is we got to get this right so right here we're gonna call like a bunch sales setup and we i thought we had that and that's what i'm talking about with Jalen monroe there's no like uh pass lead elite so that ball kind of just lofted in the air has released i don't know it was open but there was more things open rewind that like i missed the corner out i missed the drag just a missed time to read right there i don't know why every like you know short down and distance i want that backside post that security blanket right because the user's not there and all the time it's just back right i don't know why it is like that but that post i feel like maybe with when when there's like a pass lead elite in madden 25 or something 
that post will be insanely difficult to defend. But for now, it's not it's not the best route, right? It's right here. We, we're playing we're, we're playing a little risky with that switch stick, right? We're baiting between that crosser and that streak, and we're getting pressure. That's the most important thing right now. We are getting pressure. I don't know how, um, but we are getting that pressure. I think it's because he keeps sending his running back out. It's right there. Once more pressure and great switch stick, good defense right there. We're, we're switching around right now. We're just not able to catch the ball. We got one pick, but, you know, I feel like there's been a lot of close calls. Right here, he's going to run a, a streak to the bunch side. Great play. Uh, that's the first time he ran like a streak. It's been a lot of like crosser from R1, a lot of like corner routes, drag and stuff from the slot receiver. So we took a risk. We went cover three on that left side and uh, the third didn't roll over. I'm not sure what happened right there, but he ends up missing the PAT. That's pretty crucial, pretty important in these games. Right here, guys, running deep attack and just making a nice little quick flat read to uh, Jam Miller. That's one thing I like about Bunch. I know a lot of people are running Oregon, a lot of people are running Michigan. Uh, the bunch strong offset, the bunch whatever it's called. Uh, the running back is on the on the same side as the bunch as, as right here. I'm saying that, but I like when the the running backs on the other side. They both have their pros and cons. Obviously, it's right here. We get lucky, honestly. Um, rewind that if you want. I end up breaking a tackle from extender. I guess that's not too lucky, but he has an amazing switch. You can see right there. I clipped it. I wanted to see what had happened. I broke the sack with extender. He had a great switch stick. He just didn't really commit to it. I was able to undercut it, cut it off. That was just a weird play, honestly. But we end up somehow scoring seven out of that play. That's just college football, man. Those are the type of plays that happen all the time in college football 25. Right here, guys. Um, playing great defense. That's the concept I was referring to, that crosser from R1. Right there, we man-pressed it. I think we shaded down, and he was still able to you know, complete that. But you know, anytime I run that and someone's running man, it just, it's just a cage. It's right here. You're going to see he's going to call a lot of verts. He does pretty much all he's calling right now. This drive right here in specific, though, we get pretty lucky. Just wait and see what happens. Right there, that was first down overthrow. Second down, he's going to throw the ball. Um, overthrow again to the running back. Wide open read. Third down, here we go. He's going to switch it up finally. He throws to his uh, tight end, I want to say. No, he ends up throwing the post, and he drops it. So um, first, second down, overthrow. Third down, great defense. Fourth down, let's see what happens. If, you're, if I'm going to take a bet, I'm best betting his verticals right here. It's the play he's been calling a lot. But maybe not anymore since he's taking so long to set up a play. Maybe he's cooking something else up. Now, I wasn't really thinking about that in this gameplay. I was just, you know, thinking about how I'm going to get the stop, how I'm going to send six, this, that, and a third. It's right here. He ends up throwing it, and we play great defense. There's that guy again, Malachi Moore. So first and second down, we got very lucky. Third and fourth down, we got some KOs right here. We're running this mesh corner. Amazing dot right there. I was waiting to see if he was going to switch stick, but that's just a beautiful dot. Cover three. It beats the cover three easily. And we really have a chance to put this game away. We get ball a half. Um, what is there? 23 seconds, 22 and counting. We really, Like I said, we really have a chance to put this game away. It's right here. He's going to switch stick. Give us the open post, bunch sale post route. It's there when you need it. And we're cooking now, man. Jalen Moreau is cooking. What are we up now? I believe we are up 20... 28-13, so that makes the PAT as well. As long as we play good defense at the end of the half, we get ball out. This game might be cooked. Right here, he's got nine seconds left. We're just you know, trying to take away the big play. Right here, throws a wheel route, and he almost got out of there. We just go man of three deep right here. We put a cloud on the left just to guard anything, and I forgot we had zone drops on, but thankfully for us, time actually runs out, and he's not able to get a field goal off. We should run the ball and get out this game. But now he makes an adjustment. You see, he got in mid blitz. He wasn't getting the pressure that we were getting. He decides, let me switch it up real quick. It's right here. Our reads are honestly pretty good. I can't lie, right? Um, we're, we're, we're getting a lot of time, obviously. But I'm looking things off, right? The post, I didn't like that. I waited for his user to get off the R1 drag. And we were able to make a great read late into the play. Get some nice yards when the play was looking kind of dead. Right here, bunch sale. We're trying to cook up once more. And... Nothing there, right? We're trying to force that post. Good defense right there. Good switch stick. Um, that, the Georgia Bulldogs defense right there went crazy. That, and man coverage. He's still not getting any pressure, thankfully. Right here, I decided to run short side. I motion my guy out because he's running mid blitz, right? He's using, he's mugging up with that safety. We have that speed out. We have the uh, running back streak. And you just cannot keep up with that. That running back streak is so hard to keep up with if you're using it. And right there, Jam Miller breaks the tackle and we're off to six. We're up 22 points now. I mean, there's just no way. We're playing amazing ball right now. One stop, and this game's cooked. 
Um, but, you know, this wouldn't be a gameplay if, if something interesting is about to happen, right? Something's brewing up right here. So he's, he's going to hit number 11. Number uh, I think that's Arian Smith, 98 speed receiver for Georgia. So anytime he's one-on-one, -on -one, you just can see he's just going to zoom by to get that speed burst animation right there. Um, I mean, dude just cooked us in two plays, right? So that's not what you want to see. We were kind of experimenting some coverages right there when we're up in the game, but Clef, Clef's not, Clef's not going to lay down, right? He's going to keep fighting and fighting and fighting. So um, we're still in the driver's seat, but you know, anything can happen, right? So right here, jet sweep, and we are able to make a tackle. I'm not sure how we were able to make a tackle, but we end up making a tackle, which is clutch and huge. So after him stopping the run on first down out of mid blitz, we decided to cook up a play and we have the tight end open. And we're just, we just, if we set our feet, we would have thrown it. But the thing is we might've gotten sacked or throw out a sack. But it's all good, right? Third and 10. Let's just try to cook up again. We're going to motion our running back out because, you know, it's it gives double mug a lot of problems. Right here, great dog, great patience. He had to use the running back. And are we out of there? Are we out of there? We might be out of there. Prentice is gone. It's like I just said, you get a little bit of space in the open field and you are gone. And you're going to see in this whole second half, my opponent, Clef, is going to be calling verticals. And I have no idea how to stop it, right? So we just switched it for no reason right there. He had a streak open. He ends up taking off with Carson back, getting a few yards. But man, I was I was giving up that streak quite a bit, man. I won't lie to you guys, chat. Uh, sometimes I just want to switch it to the cloud, right? Not the safety third. Excuse me, the safety half. But it just you don't. It doesn't work out as expected, right here. Good patience, good patience. He takes off with Beck again. So he's been cooking me. I'm just experimenting coverages and switch sticks, right here. Good switch stick again. And where's it? Where's the sack, right? We're playing good defense. We need a little bit of pressure. At least tackle the man before he gets 15 yards on that scramble. Once more, verticals, switch sticking around. Uh, we sent five, I think we sent six right there. We didn't get anything. It's still a really good play. It's just not in the a lot of the playbooks. Right there, his reads are sharp now. He's hitting the reads as they're supposed to. And he's in desperation mode, right? He's got to come back. He's got to fight. Right here, he flips it short side. And this running back, we could have used it all the way and we just look it off. I just was not him expecting him to still eye that down all the way down the field. We had it double covered, but he ends up making the nice read late with patience. And he decides to go for two, right? So he's missed a PAT. He's missed a two-point conversion. He's down in the terms of, you know, that market. It's right here. Nice little play to Humphreys, I believe his name is. He ends up cooking our DB and man. Nice little drag, nice little animation. So right here, guys, second and three. We motion hike inside actually we're calling new play it's this little um motion bubble we might have had the outside on that sweep but i don't know my run stick isn't the best and you know this double mug it's it's hard to run on i really should have been audibling out going to like trips or something more spread out look throwing rpo here we go we end up calling it we're looking for the streak do we have it we might have had it we might have been throwing a pick but it doesn't matter Jalen milroe is not able to get the ball out on that deep pass um, he hasn't really screamed at us all game. We've had a lot of time, and he might start screaming at us now, Chad. Right here, fourth and three. I probably should have punted. I don't know. I probably should have come up with a better play. Cage. Everyone cage. We actually end up breaking his tackle with extender, but he gets that double mug A gap, and I'm low-key starting to sweat now. And here we go, back on defense. Our defense has been out there a lot this game. They're probably tired right now. That's why they're not really shedding or coming in. Right here, sh just a terrible switch stick. What am I doing? At this point, like I said, I was trying stuff out. I was trying to switch stick, get better with it, but we, we just couldn't stop Verts. And now all of a sudden, he is down by nine points, barring a two-point conversion. And here we go. He's in gun normal Y off. And I'm not sure what he's cooking up. He's just going to quick hike us. And we actually have an amazing switch stick right there. Click on to number 34. And we went for the pick, but he dropped it. Either way, it works out for us. Clef ends up not onsiding once again, down nine with about 349 left. Like I said, I should have been game managing better, but here we go. We're finally starting to do it right here. I'm surprised we didn't get a, uh, you know, a flag for, you know, moving around. You know, when it goes under five seconds, guys, you get that flag it's right here, especially with chew clock, right? You cannot audible. You cannot make a, you know, hot route. So you, whatever play you come out with chew clock on, you have to run that play it's right here. I feel like we're gone. I don't know who grabbed us, but that kind of hurts. I wanted it. I wanted at least a first right there, right? That looked like a nice hole he messed up his user but bad stick on my end i should have went to the left a little bit and here we go guys bunch trail but what I, what did i just tell you guys you can't come out and shoot clock and set hot routes and audibles and guess what that's what i end up doing we get pushed back five yards third and eight once when it was just a third and three 
they're starting to get a little more pressure on us. We end up audibly in the gun cluster and it almost happened again. I had to burn one guy. So we're we're playing horrible game managing football right now. We're wasting our timeouts. Not that they matter too much up nine, but we're just not thinking of our plays that we want to call, right? We actually end up audibly in the cluster. I like this a lot, honestly, if, if we're able to pick it up. That's a big if, right? We got some streaks, some zigs going on. And we had, we honestly had the corner route. We might've had the streak, but I, I don't know what that read is, man. We decided to end up punting this one. I don't know. This could have gone either way. What are you guys doing, chat? Are you punting this? Are you going for it? Right here, once more. Is he going to continue calling verticals? He is. I don't know what. I, I'm like, I just made up a couple guys, right? So some plays he keeps a running back on a streak. Some plays he keeps him on that little delayed option. Um, there goes a two minute warning. And the big thing about this is Clef still has all three timeouts. So this might be one of the worst folds I've ever witnessed um, in a game of college, or just in a game of Madden, college football, whatever. Um, in any competitive game I played, he has unlimited amount of time right here with those timeouts and that clock stopping right here. Just we cannot stop verticals for whatever reason. We are tweaking out right now. We're not we, we're not getting set up. We're getting quick hike. We're not stopping verticals. Our safeties are flying. Everything is in panic mode right now. Look at our safeties. We decided to burn one. And guys, that feature where your safeties move across the field when you press is one of the worst. I hate it honestly. I think it's honestly a Madden, which is scary. So. Guys, I we, we I don't know. We got to find something to do, whether it's show blitz. I don't know, because there's no baseline in this game. There's nothing right here. Is he going to playmaker him? He ends up playmakering him up. It gets a lot of time, but we play great defense. Good switch sticks, good sack. And yeah, now time's ticking. It's going to be a little harder to score down here. We decided to get in cover four, man up a couple guys. We got to block it now, right? There's no, no BS in, right? Because he's all of a sudden coming back. And of course, I say that. Got my adjustments messed up. He's going verticals every single play. This is astonishing. Um, and we keep giving it up, right? We're doing too much. You got to play simple on defense, right? And right here, once again, he doesn't go onside kick. I would have onside kicked this. For one, it's insanely hard to make field goals. Um, for two, it's college. You never know. You might fluke an onside or a fumble. And for three, I mean, I don't know. I just, I like my chances better because, you know, there's a much shorter field to play with. You could play more aggressive, get crazy. But Clef is a top defensive player. He's got amazing stick work on defense. He's played the game for many years. I, I, I'm not going to question his uh, approach right here. Right here, we're, we're trying to switch it up, right? We're think, looking for plays to run. We can't really, you know, we don't really know what we're going to run. We decided to run the uh, audible the trips. We're looking for verts, right? He's all out man, right? He has, that's all he's been running. He's been running all out man with these Georgia Bulldogs. We're going to have routes open. I like this a lot. We throw him off. The running back motioned out who's been working all game. And right here, boom, tight end open. Can we get the first? We are able to get the first. That's pretty much going to be game. So after first down run play, that didn't really work out for us. We decided to go back into this RPO that we called earlier in the game. And <laughs> yeah, we're not calling that again, at least to that side. See right here, guys, time's ticking. He doesn't have any timeouts. That's going to be game. GG's a clef. Almost had a crazy fold, but it happens in this game. I've seen people blow leads, lose like games that you would never lose. Just for the fact that it's hard to make field goals. Um, you know, there's a lot of crazy pressures in this game. See right here, we're going to get into the, uh, the QB kneel and end this game before any shenanigans or horseplay happen. And I love this feature. We're going to QB kneel and look what happens with the clock. It's going to go all the way down to zero because he has no timeouts. The game is super fun. Um, I, I'm enjoying it so far. I got another gameplay coming up versus Skimbo, but GG's a clef. Georgia versus Bama. Bama clears once again. Georgia cannot mess with Bama. Let me know who you guys... Um, want me to run with in the next video I'm right there look at that Jalen Monroe best player best QB in the game for sure if you haven't used Bama yet you're tripping you got to go run with them they're super fun catch you guys in the next video I know this went on for a little bit but it was a high level gameplay look at that 42 to 40 GG's in the chat